Parabuild is steel detailing software that can model all types of structural steel in 3D. It automatically produces the bills of material, shop drawings and CNC files needed to fabricate and erect a structure. This video shows how Parabuild can be used to draw a structural model complete with bracing and connections and how the various component parts are linked. We begin by drawing a simple grid. Drawing columns can be easily done by selecting the type and size from the context modeler and then pointing the mouse cursor at the desired location. As the cursor position is changed the different options are proposed. The columns can be rotated using the arrow buttons on the keyboard. The column position and heights are in this case determined by the levels and the grid. They act as restraints and the columns will automatically update if either is changed. Many columns can be drawn in one go using the multiple columns command. On each intersection of the selected grid lines, the column will be drawn. Drawing beams is also a straightforward exercise. Simply select the beam size and move the cursor between any two columns and the beam is displayed. By selecting a level the beam will be constrained to this level with a dimension. The level and offset distance can be locked by activating the adjacent magnet making it easier to draw many members on the same level. A portal rafter can be drawn between any two columns by selecting the option from the context modeler and then pointing to the desired location. To constrain the height of the rafter we create an additional level to set the apex. And when selecting levels from the context modeler only the rafters that satisfy these conditions are proposed. Connections can be created by choosing the general type from the menu and selecting the members. Only the connections relevant to these members will be proposed. And after choosing the desired type, the connection is drawn and can be edited. The connection can be copied to other columns using the propagate command. In the next example, beams are connected to columns and then propagated. The same is done for a haunch connection. To make things easier to see and work with, elements of the structure can be temporarily hidden using the view manager. A new, more complex apex connection can be created 
by combining multiple components. First, all components are drawn either from the connection library or from individual components. And then, these macros are merged into one. The merged connection can now be automatically propagated to similar situations in the model. Tracing is also a simple exercise with Parabill. Click on the bracing icon and select the bracing type from the options. In this example, the bracing is linked to the axis of the top member. Then, the members to be braced are selected. There is an option to insert gusset plates and a middle connection. And when editing connections and macros, any collisions will be immediately recognized. The colliding members are shown in yellow. After correcting the bracing, the change of color will confirm the clash has been removed. The bracing and all its components can be copied using the Smart Copy command. Even if the dimensions of the bay differ, Parabill will automatically update the bracing geometry to suit. All parts drawn with the context modeler and all connections are linked by geometric constraints. This means that if grid lines or levels are moved, then all dependent members and connections will automatically update. In this example, the grid line is moved, and all members, including beams, columns, bracings and connections, have automatically adapted. And when changing the levels, the column heights, floors, and all the geometry of the portal frame will immediately change, thanks to relationship between the parts. In this final example, it's demonstrated that propagating connections and macros are not limited to identical geometries. The propagate command can copy the connections to members with different section sizes, slopes and orientations. Parabuild compares the logic and topology of the members to determine whether a connection can and should be copied. For more information, please visit us at our website at parabuild.com.